Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Doppler where every day is a train show. My name is DJ and today we're going to be taking a look at some new items that we have here in the store that hopefully will be on your layout real soon. We're going to start off with some Atherin cards. If you take a look over here, we got the 60 foot Gunderson double door box cars. And as you can see here, the first two I have on display are what they call prime for grind. So they have some weathering details added to them. And then the next two cars that they have are, well, just like they came out of the factory and they're brand new, pristine. And those are some really neat cars. As you can see, I have Canadian Pacific, TTX. I got the big blue. These are some really neat looking cars here. And especially if you're looking for some high end box cars to go on your layout, these are definitely ones to check out. Now, the price for these guys are $36.99. And of course, we have metal wheels so these things glide on the rails they do a really good job and truthfully what we are starting to do here because we think here at yankee dappler we need to get big so i actually reached out to some celebrities and they're going to be endorsing some of our products so i have them here on the phone for example al pacino is going to tell you all about these box cars oh oh you want to you want to get a box car huh Oh, look at the tough guy. Okay, yeah, get the box car. It's fantastic. Oh, hoo -ah. So, I mean, you can't do any better than that. So come in the Yankee Dabbler and check these guys out. And if you really like those box cars, you want to get a couple of different ones with different row names, we'll check out the three pack here that Atherin put out as well. These are uh, different individually numbered here. This is the TTX, and I also have the Prime for Grime version right there. So that is pretty cool. I especially like that one is a totally different color than the other two. I think that's a really neat uh, detail that they added there. So these uh, three packs are going for $106.99. These are high-end cars here that uh, roll really well on the track, as I said, and you'll definitely enjoy having them on your layout. So come in, get your dabbler, check them out. It's time for some spine cars here, and we have here the three pack from Atherin, so let me put it the right way. The three pack from Atherin here, as you can see, these are really cool looking cars here. This is the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. If you take a look at the one I have here, this is a TTX, and these are actually prime for grime. As you can see, these cars are a little bit less yellow. They are faded because they are well used cars that you would see on the railroad today. In comparison, I have a TTX set that is into the shipper right there, as you can see. But as you can tell that the color there is a little bit more vibrant. It's obviously a darker yellow because those are, you know, that's what it looks like coming out of the factory. These are the Trinity 57 foot all purpose three unit spine cars. And as you can see here, each one of these guys, I'll take one out. I have die cast metal happening there. I have some nice etching there with the different detailing. And of course I have a whole bag of parts here, some assembly required to put on the various different areas here so you can put some trailers, like this operator car I got there, or containers rather. All right, the, these cars are selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $95.99. Uh, it might seem like a lot, but these are really nice cars. They're really nicely detailed. They are heavyweight. I do like cars that have a little bit of heft to them. And don't take my word for it, check out former Rocky and Rambo star Sylvester Stallone and get his take on these cars. So take his word for it. I think they're great. So check it's end scale time here. We're going to be taking a look at these micro train multi-packs here. As you can see here, I have the Great Northern Boxcar 8-pack. That's right, for those who need more than just one, we got eight here. If I open up this box here, you're going to see that these cars not only come in a nice coming in case there, but these cars here are detailed. These are really cool looking cars here, especially if you're a Great Northern fan. You don't see a lot of those out there, especially in this color scheme. I really like the orange and the green there. I think this is a fantastic looking car, and especially if you're an end scaler, that is a good way to go. Or... If you want to get some more modern cars here, we have here the Norfolk Southern X Southern weathered three bay, a uh, three pack hopper cars here. As you can open them here, as you can see, these are very weathered. As you see, this one even you can still make out the Southern look there. I have there, of course, too, that I had been painted with Norfolk Southern uh, row name there. 
this is a really cool looking set and especially if you want something that looks very realistic you get this in the right setting i'll tell you what you take some photographs of this you might be able to fool some people because these cars look really good now these cars here the norfolk southern three pack here retails for 109.95 we're selling it here at yankee dabbler let me get the right number here this is going to be 87.96 now it might seem a little bit for an end scale product but as you can see here this is microtrains they make really good products as well as the weathering right there i'll tell you what you have someone that does some weathering you're going to give it to them you're going to be paying a lot of money to get that done this is already done the the work has already been uh taken care of there so that is a cool look there or we got the great northern this set remember you got eight cars here this sells for 219.95 we're selling there for 175.96 and again these are really cool looking cars here and as i've been saying don't take my word for it take former president bill clinton's word for it okay well you know a lot of people say that size matters well that goes out the window when we're talking about micro trains because these things are fantastic they are great and please don't tell hillary where i am oh, a little issue there all right well come in yankee dabbler and check these guys out you'll really like them it's steam engine time we're going to be taking a look at a very interesting locomotive in railroading history I have here to take a look at the Chesapeake and Ohio, or the former Chesapeake and Ohio, 614J3A Berkshire. As you can see here, this is painted in the Greenbrier Presidential Express paint scheme. Now, for those of you who are familiar with the history of this failed attempt to get this engine running, back in 2011, Ross Rowling, who is uh, most famously known for creating the American Freedom Train, sent this engine to Washington, D.C. with hopes of running of an excursion train between Washington, D.C. and somewhere in West Virginia. I can't remember the exact title uh, area. But what was really neat about this locomotive here is that they painted the engine. They actually went to um, the Roanoke Museum of Transportation, got it painted. They got a bunch of cars. They got everything running, except the route just fell through. And within a year of the actual idea of getting this train going, the whole project fell through. The cars were sold off. However, the engine is still located in the same area that it was planned to originally run. And you can actually still see this locomotive today on display, painted still in this failed paint scheme. So it's kind of an interesting piece in American railroading history. And if you get this particular piece, you can pretend that the Presidential Express was successful and running on your railroad at home. So, as you can see here, this is from Broadway Limited. This is the brass hybrid piece, so it has some metal pieces. Some of the finer details are made of brass. This is a really well-made machine. So, as we like to do, let's check out what it sounds like and see what we got. Here is the whistle. Here is the bell. And away we go. Good smoker. Back it up. 
the 614 hooked up to a long freight train here so you can see the great pulling power of this locomotive. And one really neat feature about this engine that you don't really see a lot is if you take a look at the cab in here, you're going to see that the light in the cab is actually illuminated right now. Might not be the best to see in the video, but take my word for it. And when the engine is in at standstill, the cab light opens up and it or turns on. And then when the engine goes for it, that's when it turns off and the headlights turn on. So it is a great looking piece and let's pull a freight uh, with this which it did in the early 90s as the 614T. Look that up, you'll find out some interesting information about it. That is a great looking piece, and again, uh, if you get something like that, you're definitely going to have a really neat piece of American railroading history. Now, this particular piece sells for $5.99, and it might seem like a lot, but remember, it is a steam engine. It has a lot of heft to it. It's a hybrid, so it has brass parts as well as a lot of die-cast metal features, and I think it's a really great looking piece, and you get all the great um, detailing, uh, work, operation, everything you would expect from Broadway Limited. But don't just take my word, take former Beatles star, star rather, Paul McCartney, and he'll tell you all about it. Right, we didn't think this train would be so good. And I was talking to my friend, I was like, hey, Jude, this is something that makes us want to twist and shout. So we took the train down to Penny Lane, and it was like a long, winding road. So it's like totally great. So, I mean, you can't say no to a Beatle. Go in to Yankee Dad, want to check it out. We're going to conclude this week's show with a diesel locomotive from Rapido. As you can see here, I'm very excited about this one. This is the MR20C Canadian National. Let's check out this bad boy. As you can see here, I have it here idling on the track. And this has a lot of different uh, features that you don't normally see in a traditional HL locomotive. As you can see, I have the headlight on there. But if you take a look at the top of the cab there, you're going to see the indication lights, which is not that common to find on HO engines. But Repeater did a really good job here. So for starters, I have the white light that's on. And that, as you remember from our previous video when we did that, it indicates an extra train. I had the green, which indicates a regularly scheduled train. And then I have the red, which usually indicates the end of the train. All right, and the neat thing about this locomotive, too, is if I go to the back, I'm going to see that I have this same exact features on the back as well. So, for example, I have the white, I have the green, and I have the red. So that's pretty cool that that is on both sides of the locomotive. This has a whole bunch of different features and a whole bunch of different sound features as well. So let's start her up. Let's take a listen to what the horn sounds like. Here is the bell. That's a neat sound. Uh, and Rubino has a lot of really neat features that they put into their uh, locomotives. For example, here's a horn sequence that they have. So that almost sounds like it's uh, coming towards you and going by. It's like we're through a train.
And before I take off, a neat feature that I forgot to mention is if you take a look under here, you're going to see I actually had a truck light illuminating right there. You might not be able to see it in the video, but it is there, and it's pretty cool to check out. Alright, let's get our regularly scheduled train. All aboard. As you can see, that engine does a lot of really neat features, and the price for that one retails for $335, and I think it's well worth it because it does a lot of really cool things. However, here at Yankee Dabbler, we're selling it for $268, so that's a great deal for a great locomotive that does a lot of different features. I'm telling you, you're really going to enjoy having that on your layout. And don't just take my word for it. Take former star of Star Wars Episode One, The Phantom Menace, Jar Jar Binks. That one actually might hurt us. I don't know. Anyway, so come to Yankee Dabbler and check this out because these engines aren't going to be here for long. I want to thank you for watching our show, What's New at Yankee Dabbler, where every day is a train show. We get things every single day. So uh, check out our website, www.yankeedabbler.com, or, of course, you can visit our store located in Belmar, New Jersey open uh tuesday through saturday nine to five if you're not already subscribed to engineer hall's channel i don't know what you're waiting for that's what all the cool kids are doing so make sure you hit that subscribe button and i want to thank you very much and of course for me uh sylvester stallone jar jar bings president clinton paul mccartney and al pacino i want to thank you very much for watching we're going to conclude with this week's rail fan video this is a strasburg decapod number 90 last year during the 60th anniversary of steam returning to the strasburg railroad enjoy take care everyone bye bye